Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. This is the channel that holds the largest collection of facts about every country, state or territory in the world. Before we begin, I ask you to click the subscribe button. I upload 3 times a week, every week, so there's plenty of content. St. Martin is a lovely Caribbean island packed with 78,000 people. But not all of it is French. Roughly 40% of the island belongs to the Dutch and is called St. Martin. The other 60% is an overseas collectivity of France. But don't let that spoil your holiday. There is no physical border between the two sides, so you can travel between them as much as you'd like. Christopher Columbus discovered and named the island of St. Martin and claimed it for Spain, but they didn't put much effort into colonizing it. At the time, the island was populated by Carib Amerindians, a people that practiced ritualistic cannibalism who dominated the entire area, hence the name Caribbean. Although Carib people still live here today, most of them perished in the struggle between the French, British, Dutch, Danes and Spanish for control over the island. A massive influx of African slaves took place in the 18th century, and later Chinese workers also came to the area. As a result, today St. Martin and the other islands are populated by a mixture of Amerindian, European, African, Indian and Asian people. The division of the island between France and Netherlands took place in 1648. There is a local legend as to how this division took place. Supposedly, the division of land began with a walking contest between a Frenchman and a Dutchman. Before they started, the Frenchman drank wine while the Dutchman drank the stronger Genevere or Dutch gin. This allowed the Frenchman to cover more territory and claim more land, or so the French say. The Dutch of course say that the Frenchman cheated because he surely ran instead of walking, something he wasn't supposed to do. The capital of the French half of the island is Marigot, Originally a fishing village on a swamp for which it is named, Marigot was the capital during the reign of King Louis XVI, who built Fort St. Louis on a hill near Marigot Bay. Today that building still exists, although it fell into ruin, but it's still the most important landmark in Marigot. Marigot is typical of Caribbean towns, with gingerbread houses and sidewalk bistros, palm trees, beaches and shops of any kind. At 424 meters, Pip Pahadi is the highest point on the island and offers a breathtaking view of the place. You can take a guided tour and hike your way up to the top. The hike takes about one and a half hours, so be ready for that, but at the end you can relax and enjoy the view. If you're lucky, you may even catch a glimpse of the local wildlife, including green monkeys that were originally brought over from Africa. St. Martin covers an area of only 87 square kilometers, but it's a tourist haven. The island boasts 37 beaches, so there's definitely no shortage of them. While the Dutch side is known for its festive nightlife, great drinks and casinos, the French side is known for the great cuisine, countless shops and outdoor markets and nudist beaches. Shopping on St. Martin offers duty-free goods in most boutiques, especially designer goods. But no matter where you go, you're bound to find someone to help and guide you. 85% of the local workforce is engaged in the tourism industry. Which may sound a lot, but keep in mind that about 1 million people come here every year. At this point, you may be wondering why this island seems so familiar. I'll give you a hint. Airplanes. This is the island where airplanes land so close to the ground that you can almost touch them, although I wouldn't recommend it. Aviation photographers flock to this place to capture pictures of large jets just a few meters above sunbathers on Maho Beach. The Princess Juliana International Airport, however, is on the Dutch side of St. Martin. 
There is a small airport on the French side too, the L'Espérance Airport, which serves small aircrafts traveling to neighboring Caribbean islands. But if you bought a ticket to St. Martin, chances are you'll be arriving on the Dutch airport and you can rest assured that your approach will be a spectacular one. These were 7 facts about St. Martin. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon. Link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.